art world just had its biggest week ever, by volume, but not by price. The two biggest auction houses, Sotheby's and Christie's, saw more than $2 billion change hands over the course of 10 days in New York City. Records were set for Frank Stella, Louise Bourgeois, and many others, but the biggest headline was this Amadeo Modigliani, which sold for $170 million to a Chinese billionaire, Mr. Liu. The hammer price of 152 exceeded expectations of $100 million before the sale. Modigliani reached a price higher than I expected. Yeah, by how much? I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, I mean, it, 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 I didn't think it was going to bring this, this kind of money. The records made may obscure the broader picture. New York and London sales were anxious, spotty, with lower percentages of lots selling or overall results falling short of their projections. Buyers demonstrated increasing scrutiny in what they wanted and how much they were willing to pay for it. While some Picassos and Lichtensteins achieve records, other works by those same artists fail to sell at all. Warhol's Four Maryland's got a healthy 36 million, but that's less than it sold for two years ago. Many Warhols throughout the week were met with tepid bidding and went unsold. People are viewing this week as was a choppy market, and so the real prestige premium lots at the ultra high end found buyers. I think you see the hundred serious mega collectors around the world still very interested in going after masterpieces. A work considered great will far outperform one considered just good by the same artist over time. And that seems to be increasingly true now. That's pushing the biggest ticket items even higher while lower price works languish. This was really the first major test that we saw in the public market. And I think uh, as we saw both by the results and the high prices achieved for these masterpiece works and the depth of bidding in particular for the collections that the market is healthy. I think it is selective. With the market surge in recent years, consigners have come to expect higher and higher prices, pushing up pre-sale estimates which may damp enthusiasm. The bidding was truly international, totally global, uh, both on the phone and also a tremendous amount of action in the room. And that's what happens when you're able to get the results, the, I'm sorry, the reserves so low, uh, you're really able to excite people to just put their hand up and see if there's opportunity and that just creates that competition that we love, that sort of magic that, that can only happen in an auction. Observers say it's too soon to call the end of the bull market. There are a lot of people out there with a lot of money to throw around. And, you know, we've been busy printing money, and there aren't so many places to put it. With interest rates this low, this is one of the parking lots for money. So this continued the trend, and I think it just uh, probably was considered a success. Estimates are being recalibrated lower, especially for less established artists. And it may be just the rare masterworks that push prices forward. For the Financial Times, I'm Mary Childs.